Welcome to Fulfilling the Promise. At Community Action Partnership of Orange County, bridging the digital divide is a very important component in moving low-income communities to self-sufficiency. And with us to share that story is the Executive Director, Buddy Ray. Buddy, welcome. Thank you, Tim. I'm curious about how in Orange County you're working to bridge the digital divide. Well, the technology world is moving along very quickly and a lot of companies are giving up their computers and computers have a lot of toxic material in them and it's better if you can recycle them rather than um, throw them away. So we are soliciting donations from companies and private individuals to get computers, fix them up and then make them available to the community. We use a lot of volunteers to make it happen and in fact the man sitting to my right, Sila Ponrantana, was a volunteer for the organization for a couple of years. He was so successful, we found some money and made the program a paid position. Oh. As Sila moved along, mm -hmm. uh, the information technology position in the organization became open, and Sila is now our IT manager. Well, Sila, now that you've moved from volunteer to employee to managing uh, the information technology department, how are you involved in supporting Community Action Partnership of Orange County to bridge that digital divide? Well, primarily my job is one of support. Mm -hmm. It's my responsibility and that of my staff to maintain the Community Action Partnership of Orange County's computers, the network, the servers, uh, the web page. So we make sure that the computers and other technology are working so that everyone else can do their jobs to help the community. Do you have um, training programs for uh, low-income individuals or uh, do you work with um, schools or institutes in the community to move the uh, renovated equipment out to the low-income community? Well, I'll, there is, that's, I can answer that in two parts. The uh -huh. renovation program, we use volunteers who are part of a occupational training program. So they're taking a computer training course and they come in and volunteer to get some hands-on experience fixing machines and thereby you know, mm -hmm. developing their resume, getting stuff that they can use to find themselves a job. Right. When we do the distributions, mm -hmm. the volunteers who are giving out the computers make sure that the families are trained on how to hook everything up. Okay. Uh, they give a, get a basic rundown on what programs are on there. They're given a bit of information on how to avoid viruses, safe mm -hmm. web safe web surfing practices and things like that. And, and that's training I always need because I'm not techno savvy and I'm always having those kinds of challenges. So that's an important component. Uh, what other ways is Community Action Partnership in Orange County assisting in bridging this technology divide? Well, the end user of the computers mm -hmm. are very important to us. Normally the distribution goes out to a uh, a schoolroom class, for example, of third graders in a low-income neighborhood, mm -hmm. where the school is in a low-income neighborhood. What we'll do is take the computers in and give every child's family in that classroom a refurbished computer. Um, the parents are there. They get training on the computer. They sign a, an agreement, a commitment that they will help the child use the computer for school. And they get to take the computer home, connect to the Internet, mm -hmm. and then the child uses the computer in his schoolwork and the family can use it as everybody tends to use the computer these days. Sila, what was your motivation for volunteering at Community Action? Well, I had actually moved back down from the Bay Area down to Orange County uh, to be, with, be closer to my parents. Mm -hmm. And I gave up a job up in the Bay Area to do that. Mm -hmm. So I was unemployed taking uh, classes at one of these occupational programs um, just to fill in some holes in my knowledge and that's where I learned that there's this program where people were fixing up computers and then giving them out and I thought well it's hands-on experience you know mm -hmm. try out my skills plus you know it's doing something beneficial to the community so I tried it out enjoyed it a lot I was pretty much there six hours a day mm -hmm. and then could run the program and manage other volunteers there which I think impressed other people at the agency and which kind of led to the position. They must have been impressed now that you've moved into employment and then have been promoted into managing the department. I hope so. Yeah, that's <laughs> great. Sela, <laughs> you begin your journey 
on a technology quest, but at some point you became much more motivated to be involved. What made that change for you? I always thought that I was one of those people who could just get by doing any job and then keeping my hobbies and interests separate. Mm -hmm. None of my previous jobs ever excited me as much as working with computers and technology. So volunteering was a nice way of building that interest and I realized that's mm -hmm. the field I wanted to go into. Mm -hmm. The added benefit of being a volunteer and doing distributions and giving out hundreds of computers to school children was mm -hmm. just seeing seeing the excitement on their face, know that I was making a difference in their lives, mm -hmm. allowing them to participate in basically modern society because computers mm -hmm. and the internet are such a large part of our life mm -hmm. now. We it's part of education. It's, we get our entertainment from it. We get right. communication from it. So if not having that puts children for, uh, from low-income families at a distinct disadvantage. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. being able to combine all that, all that together was kind of the quintessential point for me. So you've become a true community action advocate and believer. Oh, I definitely believe that one should help out your community. So, Buddy, how could others become believers in community action and support your programs? Well, we can always use donations of computers and peripheral materials that support the computer. Mm -hmm. But we're not talking about the old stuff that you would just throw away, the first generation IBMs or whatever. It really does need to be more state of the art. Because mm -hmm. the, the families that we're giving these computers to are already at a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. So we want them to have something that is current, that gives them access to the current internet. Right. So donations of computers. We can always use volunteers with technical expertise that will help us to refurbish the computers when they come in. Mm -hmm. And the way that they can do that is they can check our website, www.capoc.org, mm -hmm. or the old-fashioned way, call our phone, 714-897-6670. Thank you for joining us today.